Alrighty, week six, Monday. You always know it's a little more of a week when there's a video for each of the items on a due date. But I think it's good. I hope you think so. So this is where we're going to take what we've learned last week from learning Bootstrap, just the beginning. And now we're going to find a template. Now, let me give you some of my, you know, just beware of. Um, but first, like, don't pay for them. Please, please, please. The intention is they're free. Okay, so I'm going to right click and say search on uh, Bootstrap 5, or you can just go to your favorite search engine and search for Bootstrap 5 free templates. Okay, and then start looking. Now, this is only the first step. Okay, but as you can see, I've spent a bit of time bouncing around different ones and just to find two. I found two that I was interested in actually taking a deeper look at. Okay, so I try to narrow it down. Now, this is where, you know, it's like you want it to look a particular way. You're going to represent whatever your topic is, right? Um, but you want to be aware, and this is, um, right, this is where... I'm going to show you one, some of the things I've run into, and this is just on the two that I selected. Okay. And, um, some of the things you just need to be aware of because one of the things, and I probably should just show you rather than talk about it. You know, let's just actually do that. So here's the first one I found. I really liked uh, this one and this, this bootstrap, um, uh, made, uh, and you might ask a question why people do this for free, mostly to give, um, to promote <laughs> like these concepts to pay, because if, if people get it for free, they still have to put certain amount of licensing, uh, stuff on it. But in general, it's called an MIT license. As a matter of fact, it doesn't hurt to actually do MIT license just to understand most of them are MIT license, which basically means you can use them any way you want, but you still have to keep the copyright on it. Okay. So, most of these are licensed that way. You can look at your particular one, whichever one you end up deciding to look at. Now, here's the thing. Here's the key features, right? And here's where we start to get into some stuff we haven't covered before. And this is the first one for this particular one. And then I'll show you my second one as well. So there's something called SAS. Um, so SAS and these pre, what we call it is CSS preprocessors. And it basically means that where you would write CSS, you actually write more like programming language to create the CSS. And you're not going to do that for this class. So I'm going to show you how to use the output of what we call these build tools rather than to try to understand them because it's just not, it's beyond the scope of this course. So we're just basically wanting to use these templates as they have been rendered, okay, through a process. Uh, one page design. Now this is where, and I've talked about this in the, the attendance, right? Is that you want to, or I'll talk about it here, is that you want to make sure, and this one is going to be what we call a single page and you'll see it, a single page site where all the menu items are linked into the page. And that is a okay place to start, but you'll need to end up creating pages. Uh, now the second one I chose, um, actually, I believe I already had the pages uh, set up. And here's the thing, you can actually start looking at the code even before you download, like right here on this spot, it says view the source code. So check this out. It's on GitHub, right? Awesome. We have some good hub experience and I'll show you how I recommend you do this because I don't want you to put this and very clear. I do not want you to put this into the GitHub uh, IO repo yet. Don't do it. Don't do it until you decide which one you're going to use. Okay. So we'll come back to this in a minute. Well, actually, let's just spend a moment here. Notice in here, we have some files that you've probably never seen. May have actually get ignore. You've seen license. You've maybe read me. You have, so you've seen some of these and then it's got source scripts and distribution. Now, if I, and I click on each of these, if I click on distribution, this is actually what I want. This is the index file, the JS file, JavaScript file, CSS file, and the assets. So this is the result of that build process. Okay. But I'll probably end up having to download. I think I'd have to end up downloading the whole thing just to get this folder or this file and these folders. And I'll show you how you're going to put them into your site once we get to the copy. Okay. That's the next step.
for today. You're just picking. And now how do you pick is partly, you know, take a look at it, right? So one of the things I do immediately is I start looking at it and I'm like, okay, let's see, what do I recognize title? Oh yeah, it's got a favicon. We we've heard of that in the HTML and CSS. It's got a CDN reference for Bootstrap icons. Okay, it's got a. Oh, we haven't actually talked about this really much. Uh, Google Fonts. It's got a plugin called Simple Lightbox, which is kind of cool for photos. Oh, and it's got a CSS. And notice it's in a CSS folder, and it's in a. It's the. This is the name of the file. And then, oh, okay, here we go. End of head. Okay, I got that. So that's what I start doing. I start looking. Do I kind of recognize this, right? Do I feel like I could modify it? Like, check this out. This one is like 261 lines. Now, we actually wrote more in the bootstrap, I think, in the bootstrap <laughs> crash course. So it may seem like a lot, but once once you start digging into it, you realize a lot of this is duplicate. Not duplicate. It's that it builds a website based on the column, right? So we learned about columns in this case, right? The grid of how it lays it out. So spend the little time before you even download looking. Okay, that's my recommendation. And then once you're ready to download, let me show you how I would recommend doing it. Okay, actually, let's go look at the other one. This uh, was this the one? Which was this one? Was this the one? And that's the other. Oh yeah, I didn't look at this one yet. So let's look at this one. This I was looking at the uh, the what's this one called? Star Bootstrap. They, they often have a name for them. Creative. Here it is. This is creative one. And this one is the iPortfolio. So let's go look at this one live, right? Now, one thing that gets a little confusing here is most of these sites put their own banner up at the top, which makes it a little like, what? And so what, what you have on this one, if I hit free download, is not that nice GitHub interface. It's actually going here and it's going to say, okay, right? Can't create it for clients. We don't need that. Right. So if you are interested in that, you have to just think about that later. Right. Can't remove that. You can't remove the link. Right. It's the CSS files. Um, premium support. You don't get any of that. Right. So so which is cool. I don't need any of that. So this is how I would get this one. So I go ahead now and just download it. So notice that was if you saw that it was a zip file right here. OK. Now um, I'll show you in a minute how I open these. And, and, I'll, and I've already talked about it for Windows, but I'll just briefly show you the image. So I have one downloaded. And for me, I, if I hit show all, right, I've cleared everything out of my downloads. And, and you would, if you're on Windows, hit uh, File Manager. I hit Finder. It doesn't really make a difference. But I'm actually going to go download uh, the other one as well. So on this one, because remember, it was different. It was in Bootstrap in GitHub. Sorry, it was in... Uh, a repo in here. So let how do we get this one? We're not going to clone it. I honestly don't want you to clone this because I think that would get confusing and I wouldn't want you to because what we're going to do is copy it into a repo. So you don't want to clone it here. Um, so here's what you do. Go over to code. And what's cool is look at this download zip. This is awesome, right? Um, because we're not going to do the things you're used to doing with getting code off of GitHub getting code off of GitHub is redundant. I will copy, or sorry, download the zip. So now I have both of these. So again, right, um, I'm going to show all. Cool. So now I have both of them. And I'm going to go ahead and go into Finder. It's, a, it's File Manager on Windows. And I see the two of the zip files in my um, File Manager Finder for Mac. And on Windows, I've already shown you this, right? You right click extract all on the Mac. Um, once you get into that, you just double click. And then what happens is it unzips it. I double click, it unzips it. Okay, so I end up having two folders here. So now what's kind of fun here is even before you can actually go in to VS Code if you want and take an even deeper look, which I probably would. I'd probably want to take an even deeper look at some of these. So here's what I could do is I could inside of VS Code, I could hit open. Okay. I could go to my downloads, which is where? Right here. There it is. 
And then in here, here's the zip files. Here's those uh, resulting file folders that are created. And I could actually create, open both of them, but I'm just going to do one. Okay. And then we go, okay. All right. So this is actually that, that I was looking at on the web, but this is inside of VS code. So now I could play around even more. I could go ahead and fire up my live server, right? Cause this is now locally to me. First I'd go, oh yeah. Wow. Look at this. Huh? This doesn't look like what it did on the web page. Oh, that's cause I started by doing the inner page. So what I could do here is actually go up here. And I could just type, there's a couple ways because it's an index file. I could just hit enter because by default, the index file will load. Okay. So then this is all on my local machine. And so I would start thinking about how I would want to change this, right? First thing I'd probably say, is, oh, I want to change that. I'm obviously going to change this. And so uh, I would look through here and wonder, can I just see, oh yeah, I see Alex here. That's cool. And that's up in the profile. That's awesome. And then, then the nav, let's see, where's the nav? Oh, here's the navigation. Now this is where I would click here and notice immediately. And this is one of the things I'll have to, I'll have to, as we work through this for me, this, cause I think this is the one I'm going to end up with. I think as I hit the menu, notice a new file is not show or a, a actual HTML document is not rendered. And you're going to actually see that on the other one. So we'll show you that as well. So, but if I come up here, the next thing I would say is, okay, I can change, and you could start playing around, just see if you could change some things, because one of your assignments this week is actually going to be to spend some time analyzing this file, okay, whichever one you select. Do know it has to be unique, right? So you've, if you're starting, um, you know, if you know you want one, post it so, you know, and posting early helps, really cool. So one other thing about this one I notice is if I right click inspect here, go into dev tools, really cool. I can see this, oh man, my font's so high. I got to minimize it a little bit that that image is setting in the hero. Hmm. And then if I go over here, I can see, oh, it's part of the CSS where it actually is a background. Right. And then I can see, wow, it's a hundred. What does that mean with a hundred percent height? Oh, wow. Okay. So you can just kind of start playing around. I see that this, oh, look at that. When I roll over it, I see that it's 1920 by 1280 uh, pixels. So what that means is if I want to put my image there, I probably want to get pretty close to that image size. That's helpful, right? And so that's what I mean by I would just see and notice now I can tell it's responsive. I'm going to drop this for a minute because it was changing based on the port view or the size of the browser. Okay, so then I'd come over here and I'd hit inspect. We already, I think, saw this one. This actually is in uh, just an image tag. So this one's pretty easy. Okay, so my when I build my, uh, or when I, if I use this one, that is the pro, uh, profile and that's the size I would probably want to get very close to for it to look good. So those are the kind of things I would look at. Honestly, it's like, does do, do things make sense? Does it work? I mean, that's the other thing is, does it just render based on that? Right. Uh, because uh, let's see, I ended up getting portfolio. Oh yeah. Interesting. They actually gave me a little different version when I downloaded versus what, Oh, no, not on this one. It was the other one. Let's go look at the other one now. That's actually kind of fun. So I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to do file. I'm going to open folder. And now on my open folder, I'm going to go to the other one because that's the one I was talking about. Where they had, yeah. So on this one, yeah, look at all this stuff that may, that we have not covered. In your, and if it's stuff that we have not talked about, it's probably stuff you're not going to need, most likely. And like I told you, distribution is really where I, where you want to, you'll pull this like this and I'll show you uh, on mine when I do it, but let's just take a look. I, I think it's worth looking at these different ones to go. Okay. All right. See kind of similar stuff. Like they start to look a little like, let's just, you know, one of the things like how many lines, Oh, about the same, not that different. And then you could also start looking at, oh, classes. Yeah. So how's that? You know, I know a little about uh, bootstrap classes, so I can play with that. Right. So now 
choose the one you want. Okay, spend some time, right? So when you, now this, when you're local here, this is for you to look at them. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop that and look at, but here's the only thing for this assignment you need to do, right? Is reply saying which one and give us a link. Like, so in this case, this would be mine. So nobody else gets to choose it. Sorry if you loved it. I loved it too, right? So that's the one I'm choosing. So I'll just go ahead and post reserved Oreo, right? There's mine. Okay. So make sure it's a link, right? So, um, and then in this case, tell us like, you know, how many did you look at and why did you choose this one, right? Um, making sure, like I said, if you want to reserve it, cool, and then come back, right, and talk about like what you looked at, how many you looked at, why you chose this, and what were some of the things that you liked about it, okay? So on the next video, I'll start talking about how I want you to copy this into um, your uh, GitHub IO. Hope this helps you out. Make sure you do the replies.